After years of raising horses, the Crawford family made the decision four years ago to purchase their first purebred Scottish Highland. Ever since, they've worked tirelessly to expand their herd to what it is now, 25 of these unique cattle. It's a decision that the Crawfords didn't take lightly, but is one they certainly don't regret. Initially, I was drawn to just how amazing they look. They're beautiful cows, but then as I learned more about them, I discovered that they're perfect for families that have less acreage than traditional cattle farms, so maybe five to 10 acres. They are very easy keepers. They're actually um, considered true ruminants, similar to goats. So yes, we do have to feed them hay and we have to make sure that they have enough grass. However, they'll eat trees, they'll eat vines. So, you know, they kind of care for themselves. They're just a hardy breed. Um, and what really spoke to me is their longevity. Um, with Highland cows, they live up until their early 20s and it's not uncommon for them to reproduce up until that time. Of course, just like with any other livestock, they do come with challenges. The most notable, of course, are their thick coats. But Crawford says that they have adapted well to Georgia's climate and says they also take measures to make sure they stay comfortable. What we discovered is during here, in, here near Augusta, during the months of July and August, um, it, it became more challenging for them. Like they didn't really want to eat more during the day, so we ended up installing sprinklers and that was a game changer. So we have several sprinklers ready to go as soon as it starts warming up like today. Um, we always make sure they have access to a good water source and that their water troughs are always very clean. Um, but otherwise, they've adapted. So the girls that we've had here for now three or four years, their coats do start to thin out. Um, they keep the Dawson and they keep all the hair on their legs, but the coats on their bodies, they actually start to thin out. And so I think they adapt. As much as Crawford says she enjoys their farm and their Scottish Highlands, there's one thing in particular she says she loves most, and that's the fact that their operation is a family one, which as you can see, is very much the case, as the entire Crawford family works to keep the farm running. It's all hands on deck, as they say, so the children help me with feeding the cows. My daughter, who is 10 years old, she will help me work with the youngest calves. Um, but she also helps me halter train them. She's helped me milk the cows. Um, any veterinary care that we can do on the farm, we've done together. Moving the cows, we do as a family. There's only four of us. Um, when we have farm visits, it's just the four of us doing the farm visits. We don't hire anybody to come out and help with stuff. So she does dragging, so does my son, dragging the pasture. Um, this year she's gonna start bush hogging. I mean, the kids are very, very much involved in everything. Reporting in Thompson for the Farm Monitor, I'm John Holcomb.